All right. Good morning. Happy Friday. And welcome to the end of 2022. How's everybody doing today? Where are you at in the world? Yeah, let me know what's going on. Take a minute here. <clears throat> Start sharing this. Jump on, say hello. And uh, we're going to get started here. End of the year. Listen, I didn't know. I, I figured it's still kind of the uh, holiday season, so to speak. So I, I kept it with the holiday tie. Be changing that up uh, next year. So, how's everybody doing? How do you feel about it being the end of the year? Who's ready to start 2023? Kenneth, good morning, brother. How are you? Always a pleasure to have you on. Appreciate your love and support. It's been a good year. I, I'm going to. This show's going to be a little bit different to today. Uh, we'll talk, obviously, the shows uh, and, and whatnot uh, here in a little bit. But I kind of want to just kind of do a, a wrap-up and kind of take a look back at how far we've come this year. And before I get into that, i got some uh, some big thanks I need, to, I need to do, so bear with me. Hey, J.D., good morning. S3 with J.D., make sure you check that show out. For all your sports needs, uh, I want to give a first off. I got to give a shout out <clears throat> to my man uh, Dave Schumann, aka Vegas, from the uh, "Because Bikers Matter" podcast. Uh, they sent me this awesome shirt. I'm not wearing it, so I could show you guys what it looks like. So, let's see if I can do this here motorcycle safety lawyers.com check them out if you ride bikes and stuff that's the back part of it if I can get it there there we go awesome sent me a cool shirt <clears throat> and got like these little coasters and stuff with so if you ride check them out they do uh, some cool stuff so Dave I appreciate it man no, is that the Wesley Young? <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Long time. Appreciate you jumping on. Thank you, thank you. Love it, love it, love it. Thanks, man. Me too, me too. Um, so, yeah, this year, sometimes you got to, like, it's that end of the year, and you, you really got to take a look at how far you've come, right? And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our sponsors. First off, I got to give a shout out to um, my tax fella, Anthony Moriello, and his team over at my tax fella. Go to mytaxfella.com. Bookkeeping, they do your taxes. They got a slew of uh, stuff that they offer to help people with their financial needs. And Anthony's been a trusted friend for many, many years. He's been doing all HMG stuff. Uh, and my personal stuff for the last uh, latter part of a decade. So uh, make sure you go check out my tax fella. Um, Simper Savage, John and Stacy over at Simper Savage have just been uh, amazing friends. I get to see them. Um, if we're lucky once a year, uh, a couple times a year, though, if we're really lucky, uh, love their, their um, marinades that they have. I got a couple... Right here, here's their uh, Savage Caesar. I used this last night, uh, a bottle of this stuff. And this is um, just absolutely amazing stuff. So go check out Simper Savage for us um, as well. JB Auto Clothiers, um, one of the companies that uh, I co-founded. Doing a lot of stuff, a lot of good for the military community there, working with a nonprofit called uh, Team Auto, and that's been a, a blessing working with that great organization. Our sister company, HMG Beverage, 
Um, you know, we got our coffee line back up and running. We brought everything in house this year. Um, today is the last day to get the hats, five dollars off. So normally these hats are uh, twenty four ninety nine. Today is the last day you can get them for. Nineteen ninety nine. Go to hmgbeverage dot com to order your hat. Um, so, yeah, and we got some new sponsors coming up at the beginning of the year, which I'm excited about. I'll talk about them next week. But sometimes you get so wrapped up on your day to day stuff that you really kind of forget about like how far you've come and what's been accomplished and and so on. And so I thought I'd share a little bit <clears throat> of that with you guys today. As I kind of reflect back on this year and uh, what we've done as a network as a whole, we brought on seven new shows this year uh, and on and off. Some shows stay, some some don't. Um, but it's been an awesome year as far as growth uh, on a podcasting side of things. Uh, we brought on a, a new producer, uh, Stephen Williams, um, who is a, just absolutely amazing, retired Marine. Um, did a lot of PR and uh, journalism, and he's just been a blessing to have on the team. Uh, all the new shows uh, that we've gotten. And if you want to check out the shows that we have on the network, go to heroesmediagroup.com and, and check them out. And then follow those show pages and support the shows uh, and stuff because it's it's been really cool um, doing that. We have did uh, quite a few events this year. Um, I got to meet... Uh, some really great people on the road this year. Uh, we did a um, event in Memphis, Tennessee earlier uh, earlier this year. Um, got to meet Uncle Cy, and, and I met Travis from Oscar Mike Radio uh, for the first time. Um, great stuff there. Uh, several trips to Nashville uh, doing stuff. Uh, Tampa, you, know, you guys see me down in Tampa quite a bit. Um you know, we'll cover stuff down there from a media perspective, um, even though for me it's kind of twofold. JB Auto Clothiers, we suit up veterans, uh, transitioning veterans, and uh, HMG helps with that, uh, covering that, taking photos and stuff like that. So there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that you guys don't necessarily see out here on the social media stuff um, always. Um, Rhode Island. We went to Rhode Island for the first time this year. Uh, for the, what was it, Hogs for Heroes barbecue competition that um, the money went to the Hunter 7 Foundation. And let me tell you something. If you've never heard of the Hunter 7 Foundation, that's Hunter 7 Foundation. Check it out. These guys are absolutely amazing, bringing light to diseases and stuff like that, like cancers and stuff that, that happened to our military and to our veterans. Uh, so check it out. <clears throat> Shay Sparks, good morning, dear. Appreciate you. I'll be talking about you here in just a second, so stand by. Um, let me see what a... In fact, speaking of Shay, another trip that we did this year was down to Cocoa Beach. Um, I got to spend a couple of days in Cocoa Beach and uh, met up with uh, Shay Sparks from the Power of Investing in People podcast, which season eight is coming uh, here in uh, just a few short weeks. So stand by for that. I met with Shay and um, Scott Ferguson from um, Time to Shine Today podcast. Uh, so it's really cool that we get to meet a lot of the people on the network, even though we do a lot of business here online, and we don't always get to do it face-to-face, -face, but it uh, this year we got to kind of get back into doing the face-to-face -face stuff, and it was it was a lot really cool going down to Cocoa Beach, seeing Shay, Shay, talking to Shay and whatnot. If you haven't talked to her on the phone, really, you're missing out. Uh, same thing with Scott, great, uh, great guy, love his show. Mark Peterson, appreciate you, brother. Patriot Pride, another great organization, uh, the People's Patriot Project. Um, they do their podcast, We Got Your Six at 6 on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And they have a, a, a lot of great guests every week. And uh, just truly blessed to have them on uh, the network as well. Um, let's see, we did uh, Philly. We did a couple things in Philly, New York. Um, 
the NRA's Great American Outdoor Show uh, for all you hunting and fishing uh, and conservation enthusiasts. Uh, this is a really great show to go to, uh, and it's actually right around the corner, so I'm I'm kind of excited about it because it's it's coming up here really soon. So it's been a, a great year here. A lot of learning experiences uh, for us. There was a lot of uh, hiccups, uh, beh again, behind the scenes. I'm just being transparent, but uh, we were able to update our technology here on the network uh, a little bit to make things easier for the shows. Um uh, reach more of their audiences, um, get better analytics uh, and stuff like that. So that was that was a big thing. We got some new stuff that we're incorporating and new um, things that we're going to be offering clients and uh, moving forward in 2023 that I'm excited to talk about here in the next couple of weeks when we launch that stuff. So it's been <clears throat> a good year. And sometimes, like I said, it's hard to really see how far you've come until you can actually stop and take a look back at what you've done. Sometimes you get to, me, I get wrapped up into the, okay, this is done, boom, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, and, and you don't really celebrate the wins. And uh, I think it, this is the type kind of year for this is when I take that time to kind of celebrate the wins, and, and I look back at what, what we've accomplished here as a network this year. And what's great about it is, it's not the network. the The network are the shows, the network are the listeners, and the network are the people um, directly involved. It's you guys out there. It's the shows that put on the content that that put their shows out and that work on their shows weekly to to provide awesome content uh, for you guys. It's the listeners out there. You guys getting engaged, letting us know. That's why I do this. Um, on, on Fridays, I come here to try to update you and, and maybe talk about some things that you guys haven't heard or, or didn't see or I think that you guys should listen to. And um, it's been my pleasure. It's It, it really has. Uh, I'm, I'm honored that I get this opportunity uh, to do it. So thank you all for, for everything. It's been, like I said, it's been a great year. Another thing that, that's happened this year is uh, we've done several audiobooks. And for those of you that didn't know, uh, Heroes Media Group, we also do audio. We're publishing, we have a publishing arm uh, here yeah. at the network, and we help authors publish their books, but we more importantly help them create their audiobooks. And we've been blessed to do several of those uh, this year. So it's been a lot of fun. We're getting ready to. We're just wrapping up one that we've been working on for about six months, and um, super stoked that this one's going to be coming out at the end of January. So, stay tuned for that. Tony, good morning. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Tony. I'll probably be seeing you pretty soon. I think. I think I'm, I'm going to be heading down your neck of the woods here, so I'll shoot you a text later, let you know. Uh, but I appreciate you, brother. Uh, another good friend of mine. Many, many years. Uh, a lot of support. Tony Averscato. Appreciate you. Um, let me see here. It says audiobooks. We've done some audiobooks. we got some new shows coming up. Um, and then, you know, working with... I, I'm the type of guy I have to have my hands in a lot of different pots, right? So I don't just do this. I, do, I have the HMG Beverage Company. We have a distribution company that we're that we're putting up online. Um, we have a new foundation that uh, I'll be talking more about. We we have a 501c3 uh, that recently was approved by the IRS uh, here uh, end of October, first part of November, called the HMG Foundation. There's uh, a lot of great things that's coming uh, with that here in 2023. And then, of course, I do stuff with uh, other friends and stuff like that, other businesses like JV Auto Clothiers uh, and whatnot. But it's um, it's been a lot of a lot of fun. The beverage company is, has been a learning experience as well. Um, <clears throat> I do want to give a shout-out to Bricktown Brewery over in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, and I have to give a huge shout-out to Short Mountain Distillery. Billy Kaufman, uh, the owner at Short Mountain, um, who does our spirit lines, our gin and our bourbon, has been – absolutely amazing uh this year and uh has helped us kind of continue to move forward with uh, our goal what we want to do with our spirit line uh 
there, Sean Ricks, <clears throat> an old friend of mine who got me started in the coffee business many, many years ago. We've had the coffee line for just over five years and um, never really promoted it much. It was just kind of like a, a thing that we're doing. Uh, and then we started the beverage company, moved the coffee under that. And um, it's been a learning experience, but a positive one uh, at that. So uh, let me see here. JD, when am I coming back to AZ? Probably for Super Bowl. Uh, so early February, I think, if not mid-March. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at coming out for Super Bowl weekend. Um, we will see. If not, it's probably going to be March time frame. Um, let me see here. What else? So the beverage company. Uh, going into 2023, I'll give you a sneak sneak peek. we got a new show coming. A new show that's starting in January called The Ripple Effect Fatherhood. Um, Army veteran, him and his wife, uh, put together this organization to, and uh, helping dads out. So really excited about this new show uh, coming up. <clears throat> um, we've got a new sponsor uh, coming up, Alibi Tattoo from uh, Hellam, Pennsylvania. Yeah, a great, great group of... Uh, artists over there. Um, Poke has done some work on my uh, on my tattoos. Poke's an army veteran, so it's always great going in there, uh, chit chatting with him. Barry, who's the owner, great guy. Uh, Taylor, another artist, he's done some stuff on on Little Bird. So it's uh, we're excited to have them coming on board for uh, 2023. And uh, if you're out there and you're looking to sponsor the network or sponsor the shows on the network please uh reach out to us send us a dm or whatnot so that's that's kind of uh 2023 or excuse me 2022 some of the i, I kind of want to get into the shows and talk about the shows because we've been so blessed to have so many new shows on the network this year and even more blessed that the shows that have been with us for a very long time Christina, good morning, sis. How are you? Appreciate you. Um, one of the shows, there's a couple of shows that have been, like we call them the OGs in the network, right? Um, the Arms Room Show, OG OG show. They were they came over from another platform that we had many many years ago. So the Arms Room Show uh, has been there, and and the Decision Hour Show uh, has been there. Probably the longest, as well as uh, JD's, uh, the S3, and the Motivated Mindset, both of those. So those those four were like the original shows that kind of came over uh, once we first started the HMG brand, which was in twenty fall of 2015. And uh, it's, been, it's been awesome. The, the Arms Room show... They do a show every Monday. Their new episode uh, launches at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And this year, th this year they did a, uh, or sorry, this week they did a kind of an end of the year wrap up. Most of the shows did an end of the year wrap up uh, for this week. And the Arms Room show, they they really kind of discuss what their favorite topics were this week. I I personally like the low light uh, training. Any of their medical train uh, shows that they do. It's just a very educational show um, for people who want to understand what to look for if you're a firearms person or if you're not a firearms person and you want to learn more. This is a great place to start. So let me see here. Yeah. Uh, if there was a way to delete JD's comment, I probably would. Um, <laughs> poke fun at the Packers. Whatever. Um, but we had some other really cool shows, uh, this past year, uh, license for love, uh, great show, uh, very educational, uh, pushing back chaos. Another, another newer show, uh, that was brought over that kind of transitioned from an old show that was, uh, used to be not your average operator pushing back chaos. Um, three military guys, uh, they're all vets. Uh, in different parts of the world, they come together once a week to, to put on a show for you guys. 
And uh, they actually have a show coming out uh, this weekend. Their newest episode will be coming out this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, environmentally speaking, um, another show. This one's been around for about a year, but this year particularly was a big growth year for them, I think. Personally, and I think one of the one of the uh, one of the uh, one of my favorite episodes this year was their offshore uh, wind uh, episode, and it's talking about like offshore um, y- y- these wind farms, and and you just kind of learn a lot. And it was just very educational. Using renewable energy was another episode that they did that was very. I thought educational. I, I I think what's what's really special about Heroes Media Group is we're a platform for the heroes community, right? And those of you that are new, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, educators, and then there's you know military veterans, and then there's a clergy piece in there as well. And and for those that support them, the shows don't necessarily have to talk about those particular topics. But the fact that the shows that are on the network support all or one of those arms of the heroes community. And that's, I think, one that makes us very special. Two, these shows um, are all educational. And, and, and some of them are, you know, we got a few that can get a little political or whatnot. And I like that, quite frankly, because it's on both sides of the aisles. More importantly, I think this network has created... A, 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 a community that kind of watches out for each other. And I know there's a lot of shows that are on the network that cross-promote each other's shows. They've been on each other's shows. Uh, they've had guests, uh, their listeners on their shows and whatnot. So I think it's been pretty pretty cool what we've been able to accomplish uh, really with very little uh, thus far. And uh, the future's bright. Um, speaking of bright, another newer show, brand new show on the network where your freedom has a voice. That one has been, uh, fun to listen to, uh, one of the newer shows, uh, chasing happiness, uh, new show, the hack life. I mean, those, those two shows there, all new shows have been only been around for about two months with us. Label free podcast. Great show. Uh, absolutely love her stuff. Uh, Deanna has been with us for a while. Uh, I mentioned Because Bikers Matter uh, podcast with our man David. Great show. Uh, Newer show. Uh, He came on earlier this year. Um, Time to Shine Today. I mentioned mentioned him uh, with Scott Ferguson. We Got Your Six at Six. Mark Peterson. Oscar Mike Radio. Uh, Travis. he's, He's been fun to work with this year. Um, and he's moving on to bigger things coming in 2023, and uh, we wish him all the best. But Oscar Mike Radio, go check him out. He does a live feed on on his Facebook page every Thursday night. Um, the MSEC po- Podcast, uh, Military Child Education Coalition. We've been working with them for the last five years, and uh, or excuse me, last f- four years, and it's been amazing. Um, gone through some changes with them over there. Uh, right now, their podcast host, uh, Susan, an absolutely amazing woman, and their their topics that they do over there are awesome, and I love it when they have uh, the kids on because they really you get to hear from the kids' perspective of being in the military, being part of a military family. I mentioned the S, uh, S3 with JD. Um, God's Good Table, another new show uh, on the network. Uh, it's a clergy, but it ties in with, like, new foods and, and stuff like that. Awesome. You got to check that out. God's good table. Rise up life on fire with our friend, uh, Krista fee. Um, she has an organization called battle to be battle. The number two B check that out. Um, mentioned the motivated mindset, uh, the power of investing in people podcast and brought her up. Shay sparks. Uh, well is another one. Um, with our, our friend, John Crotech. Uh, the Live Free series with Jay Lee, another friend of ours who's uh, bringing stuff back in 2023, so we're looking forward to seeing him again. And then uh, Wake Up with Patty Catter. Uh, and those of you that have followed me for years, Patty has been a co-host on the Decision Hour for on and off for several years. Uh, been a good friend of mine. 
uh, and uh, she does her show, Wake Up with Patty Catter. So it, it's been an awesome year of growth, learning experiences. I'm grateful that we've got to go out and do more things um, this year, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully – being out and meeting all of you guys in 2023. If you guys have events, <clears throat> excuse me, that are coming up, um, and you want us to show up, set up a booth, uh, do interviews or whatnot, let us know. We would love to come to your events this year, and um, just drop us a DM and let us know what you have coming up, what's going on. Let us know if there's certain topics that you want us to talk about. Uh, in 2023 I really would like to see in 2023 um, grabbing more topics from you the listeners and you the viewers and let's discuss civilly uh, some of the things that you want to discuss or what you think we should cover um, I think that'd be cool and and then maybe that means adding another show uh, just to cover those topics. We'll do the weekly wrap-up and then potentially do another show where we're talking about a certain topic that you, the viewer, you, the listeners, want us to talk about. And we'll come on here and we'll talk about those things. So what do you guys think about that? Let's let's maybe potentially do that, right? So what do you guys think of that? What, uh, what are your guys' plans for 2023? Who's ready for 2023? I'm not going to dive into 2023 yet because we're not there yet. I'm going to do that next week. Next week, we're going to cover what you can expect for 2023. we got some events already lined up in January, February, uh, March. Uh, I'm not sure if April, May, I know uh, for sure. So we already got some things uh coming down the pipe for you and it's it's going to be awesome you're gonna to want to stay with us and we're going to be hiring again we're hiring uh we're looking for some uh social media people we're looking for content creators and we're looking for more podcasts that want to join the network uh and if you're an author out there and you want an audio book let us know we'd absolutely love to uh help you out uh, there. So I'm trying to think of what else. What else? You guys got anything? I'll take a minute here and wait. See if you guys, what you guys have. Who's ready for 2023? Think about some topics you guys want to talk about. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for you guys' comment, don't forget to go to HMG Beverage. Today is your last day to get your HMG hat. On sale right now for $19.99. We took $5 off. Um, should also let you know, I don't have a date yet, but sometime in January, we will be putting the coffee on subscription. You can sign up for your subscription and have your coffee delivered to you every month. So we're pretty excited about that. Anything? Questions, comments, cries of outrage? Not seeing anything. Listen, let me say this, guys, before you guys go. Um, from from the from the bottom of my heart, seriously. Thank thank you, Ken. I'm ready for more coffee. Right. <laughs> me too. Man. I, all right, man. We'll make sure we get you some. I'm ready. Sarah, you need a fresh start. What can we do to help you, Sarah? What can we do to help you? Let's get, let, uh, shoot us a DM, Sarah. What, what can we do to, this is my first time. Well, well, look at that. This is a great way to end the year. Sarah, let everybody welcome Sarah. This is her first time listening. Sarah, welcome. Thank you for taking time to, uh, jump on. And, uh, I apologize for my appearance. I, I have the face for radio, but, um, this is what we do. So thank you for jumping on. We appreciate the appreciate you. Send good wishes. We can definitely do that. If there's anything that we can do for you, by all means, we're a community here. We'd love to help. Uh, so, yeah. All right, guys, listen. It's been a hell of a year, and it wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, 
you guys. I would not I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. For the shows, or all the shows that are on the network that I mentioned, go to and support support our shows. Please go to heroesmediagroup.com. Click on the podcast. You'll see all the shows that are on the network. It's got their um, social media links and stuff. Follow the shows. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I love the shows. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the shows either. So thank you to all of the shows that are part of our network. Thank you to you, the viewers, the listeners, and all the love and support that you guys have given us through 2022. Because 2023 is going to be a hell of a lot better. All right? Um, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. God bless you. God bless America. Happy New Year. Don't be be smart. Don't be stupid this, this New Year's Eve. And I will see you guys next year. Take care.